Welcome friends. This is Vasant Rao here, the artist and curator <clears throat> and a warm welcome to channel VR Artists. Well friends, before I begin, I would like to appeal you all to subscribe this channel and press the bell icon so that you get the notifications regularly. Do support our efforts in this field of art. And all those who have subscribed this channel, a big thank you from all of us here. <clears throat> Friends, this is the second episode in this program, Sakshi. And uh, as you all know, um, which I've told in my first episode, that this program is about my opinion and experiences about uh, the work of art of other artists. Friends, as I've mentioned that, to study as an artist or as a curator, I have always found it interesting and intriguing to study the artworks of various artists to know more about their concept, their thought process, lines, forms, creations, and their ability to create masterpieces. And in this thread, this is a second episode where today I'll be speaking something about my feelings, my experiences, or my observations about uh, another eminent artist, Basuki Das Gupta. He's a good friend of mine and is based in Tumkur, and uh, he creates excellent, brilliant works. So let us know, I would like to just share my, uh, what I think and what I observe in his work of art. So friends, to begin, <clears throat> aesthetics of art is universal and the thing of beauty is a joy forever. The eternal joy is an intellectual perception and super sensual. Indian art is an aesthetic culture that has its tendency to glorify and enjoy everything beautiful in a discipline, shape and size that is particular about. Enjoyment of beauty gave way to aesthetic, gave way to ethics and the disciplines of life. Beauty and discipline thus run parallel, never to make their indecisiveness in a creative unity. But Bharat Varsh has a unique culture where aesthetics and ethics combined. Art here is harmonization of both discipline and beauty, making the former a means to realize the latter. It is about disciplining life to realize the ultimate beauty, the eternal tapas or discipline of the artist, here to lead to the ultimate beauty or saundarya, which is another synonym for divine. Aesthetics of art is universal and the thing of beauty is a joy forever. The eternal joy is of an intellectual perception and super sensual. Indian art is an aesthetic culture that has its tendency to glorify and enjoy everything beautiful in a discipline, shape and size that is particular about. Enjoyment of beauty gave way to ethics and disciplines of life. Beauty and discipline thus run parallel, never to make their rendezvous in a creative unity. But Bharatvarsh has a unique culture where aesthetics and ethics are combined. Art here is harmonization of both discipline and beauty, making the former a means to realize the latter. It is about disciplining life to realize the ultimate beauty. The eternal tapas or discipline of the artists here lead to the ultimate beauty or saundarya, which is another synonym for divine. Basuki Das Gupta 
based in Tumkur, Karnataka, is one of the eminent artists in the current Indian scenario. Originally belongs to Bishnupur in Bengal, which is a town renowned for its terracotta temples. And this background of his is a testimony to understand his realist artistic inclinations and to feel the essence of his visual language on a canvas. He casts a wide inspirational net drawing from Bengali tribal folk, Bengali tribal lore and folk traditions. The symbolism of Goddess Durga, the principle of Shakti and ball music. Basuki completed his fine arts degree in the year 1992 and started his first lesson on mural paintings from K.G. Subramanian, yet another eminent artist of India. As a student of master's degree, that is from 1992 to 94, in mural, he started to get a clear vision of the term wall, which was visible or un invisible. He believes art has a spiritual dimension that can help one to transcend this wall between man and nature, man and God. This idea is reflected in his everyday interactions with fellow beings of all ages, classes and gender. Basuki's basic life and art philosophy has a humane and dignified view of the sacredness of all life and that humans are but one link in the symbiotic chain of life and consciousness. And this is the dominant or recurring idea in his artistic work. His visual language has a unique definition consisting of visual forms that is delivered in the context of an existent society with a cultural niche. Basuki has great reverence for nature and the life energy within it. Basuki's paintings clearly depict wide inspirations from folk or tribal traditions that are relevant to our civilization, thus making it recognizable tradition. All his works are in mixed media. His canvas is a serious architectural process of playing with materials, forms and textures that reflect and depict the divine simplicity and human complexity. Basuki's art emerges from the impulses and instincts directed by light and reason. Reason being the aesthetic and ethical or his search for beauty and the search for good. Basuki intensely searches for beauty in his creative attempts like painting and music. A complete and universal appreciation of beauty is the necessary part of his character as an artist. Beauty in his composition is the divine manifestation in physical and matter and its principle and law and uh, this is something inward and spiritual so friends this was something about Basuki's work of art uh, his work of art leaves a, a very good beautiful impression in my mind and so does it with others as well so friends uh, I believe that you like this observation of mine and uh, sharing of my experiences do let us know what you think about this. Do subscribe, like and comment channel VR Artists. 
And uh, that's it for now. I'll be back again with yet another episode about yet another artist. Till then, stay safe and keep painting. Cheers, folks. Thank you.